What's up guys, David here and welcome to the FitPro Daily. So this evening I'm feeling a little sorry for myself. During today's football match I took a stud or a couple of studs to the elbow or also got elbowed in the face and we lost to make things even worse. But what I know is no matter how injured I get playing football, DK9 Fitness is going to carry on, it's going to thrive, it's going to keep moving forwards. And this wasn't the case a few years back. Remember a few years back I did play football again, I hurt my shoulder and it hurt it real bad. I couldn't drive, I couldn't change, I couldn't even dress myself for about two weeks. This was because I hurt myself so much that DK9 Fitness had to stop. I had to kind of shut down for two whole weeks because I couldn't do anything. By the end of the two weeks, I was healed up enough that I could just about drive to work, I could change myself and I could demonstrate most of the exercises. And that taught me a lesson that day and thinking about it now after taking that elbow to the face and the kick to the arm that how how getting these things in place to make sure that if something happens to you a little accident and puts you out of work that your business does carry on and this is called operation manuals or blueprints okay where you put things in place to make sure that your business keeps moving forwards perfect for your staff to understand how things work it could be as basic as when you come in you turn these lights on you put the music on this volume you welcome clients in and then you start your sessions okay as basic as that sounds it needs to be written down in your operations manual because then when you're not there you literally hand this manual over to your staff they read it they follow it and they deliver the same type of sessions and the same type of success as you would in your own fitness business so really do have a think about it over the weekend now to start writing down how your business works from top to bottom how you deal with new inquiries how you make sales how you contact leads how you coach sessions how you end sessions how you start sessions how you clean and tidy your building everything and anything that goes on in your fitness business write it down so if that day ever does come where you can't be in that in your business for some particular reason, you can hand over this manual and somebody else can help run it for you until you're back on your feet. Plus having this manual in place, when you do take on staff, you give it to the staff, they read it, they confirm that they know everything and that is part of their onboarding training. Anyway, I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Now come join us inside our free Facebook group where on a daily basis we share tons of content to help you generate leads for your fitness business.